Hi, UPK friends. Oh my goodness, I haven't seen you in so long and Mrs. Hill misses you. But you know what, today is Monday and Mondays are gonna be music day for us. So we're gonna have Monday music today together and do some fun things. I have a magic basket here at home. It's not the same magic basket, but I have a magic basket and we'll have to see what's in there today. And we'll just have a good time together, okay? I miss you guys. It's nice to see you. Okay, so first we have to get ready for music. Are you sitting down on a special spot that's just for you? Okay, let's sing it. When I'm ready for music, I sit right down, sit right down, sit right down. When I'm ready for music, I sit right down in my special spot. Yeah, we don't have any black dots today, but you can find a place in your house to sit down and be ready for music. And there's another thing we need to do when we're ready for music time. Do you remember it? When I'm ready for music, I'm listening, listening, listening. When I'm ready for music, I'm listening on my special spot. And I can tell when kids are listening to Mrs. Hill because they're using not only their ears, but also their eyes and they're looking right at me. And the most important thing about music time, I hope you remember what it is. When I'm ready for music, I smile a lot, smile a lot, smile a lot. When I'm ready for music, I smile a lot and then we can begin. Well, I am ready to begin our UPK time. You might notice I'm not in the music room. Nobody is at our school right now. No kids, no teachers. So I'm at Mrs. Hill's house. This is my house. And if we get really lucky, one of my pets might come and visit us during my video today. So because I'm not at my music room, I don't have my regular magic basket, but I do have a basket that I use here at my house. That's my magic basket. Are you wondering what's in here today? What do you think You think maybe Penny is in there? What else? Toys, okay. We're not sure. Let's find out. Okay, we'll sing our Magic Basket song. Are you ready? A tisket, a tasket, what's in the Magic Basket? What will it say we'll do today? Let's open it and ask it. Well, I can tell you for sure that Penny is not inside our magic basket today. I know that makes me sad too, but Penny actually lives in my classroom at school. And since everybody who is at school had to stay there and everybody who's at home has to stay here, Penny is in my classroom right now. I bet she's eating all of my bananas. But let's see what's in the magic basket today. Let's see what's in there. Well, this looks very unusual don't really know what this is. Hold on. I can't tell. What do you think it is? Wait, hold on. It's all tangled up. It's got some interesting looking feet. Uh, it's got some, some wings. And let's see, the face looks like this. <laughs> it does look like a chicken. I think this might be a chicken. That is such a, wait, wait a minute. I think there's something interesting about this chicken. Hang on. There's a big hole here. I wonder what this is for, this hole in the, oh, you know what I think? I think you can wear this chicken like a hat. Let me see. back up so you can see oh that's just crazy but wait I can't see you because my eyes are covered up hold on now I can see you. 
Mrs. Hill is wearing a crazy chicken hat. Look at that. So I guess our songs and games today are going to be about a chicken. And do you remember which habitat a chicken lives in? Remember what habitat? Oh, of course. Chickens live in the farm habitat. So we're going to sing today a farm song. And then we're going to sing a chicken song. And then we're going to do a chicken game. Okay, all about farms and chickens today. So let's start with our farm song. Our farm song is pretty easy, um, but our beat is a little bit trickier. It's not just a pat, it's a pat and a clap beat. It's a little bit tricky for UPK. I know we tried this once before, but let's try that beat. It goes pat, clap, pat, clap, pat, clap. And here's my farm song. Going to the farm. Go into the farm. I wonder who we'll meet today. We're going to the farm. You can sing along. Let's try it. Go into the farm. Go into the farm. I wonder who we'll meet today. We're going to the farm. And we already know who we're going to meet at the farm today because Mrs. Hills wearing a silly hat we are going to be meeting a chicken today at the farm. So let me put my chicken over here. So chicken, you can just sit there and watch us play our games, okay? Little chicken, what do you think? Oh, that'll work. I don't know, chicken looks a little tired. Come on, chicken, wake up. So our first song about chickens today, we need to figure out what kind of a sound do chickens make. Do you have any great ideas of what sound a chicken make? Yeah, I, I, okay. Her bop, 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 bop. That's a good one. Yep. Or clap, 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 clap. Yep, yep, yep. Those are, those are really good chicken sounds. How about if we use, in our song today, let's use cluck, cluck, cluck. Because that one's a little bit easier for Mrs. Hill to say. So in our song today, the chicken says, cluck, cluck, cluck. And I want you to try that with me. Just three clucks in a row. Ready, go. Cluck, cluck, cluck. Excellent. Can you do your three clucks while you clap, too? Three clucks with three claps. Here we go. Cluck, cluck, cluck. Love it. All right, here's my song about chickens, and you get to join in with all the clucks. Here we go. Listen to the chickens go cluck, cluck. Listen to the chickens go cluck, cluck, cluck. All day long they sing their song. Listen to the chickens go cluck, cluck, cluck. I bet you have that song memorized already. Let's sing it together. And don't forget to add in three claps with three clucks. Here we go. Listen to the chickens go cluck, cluck, cluck. Listen to the chickens go cluck, cluck, cluck. All day long they sing their song. Listen to the chickens go cluck, cluck, cluck. Oh, super fantastic. Now get this. With our song now, we are going to add in some instruments. I know, I know what you're thinking. You're thinking we are not in the music room and so we don't have any instruments. That's not true. There are lots of things that you could find at your house or if you're at your grandma's house right now or if you're at daycare right now, there are things that you could find that would make an instrument sound. Now don't go looking yet. Let's think about it first, okay? I have some ideas. At your house, if you have some pencils or pens and you tap them together, that could be your instrument today. But if you don't want to use that, you could also find a pot or a pan and maybe a spoon. You could use that as your instrument. Just don't hit it too loud, okay? Maybe at your house you have some plastic containers, like some Tupperware or plastic containers. If you find a couple tops, you can tap them together. That's a great instrument. 
Or you can take that same spoon you were using before and tap it on a plastic container. And that would work great. So here's what I want you to do. I want you to pause my video right now. And I want you to go find an instrument that you can use from your house and bring it back over here by Mrs. Hill. Okay, are you ready? All right, so I'm gonna use the two pencil idea because I like it because it's nice gentle sound. But whatever instrument you have, no matter what you're using as an instrument right now, you're gonna play it when we say cluck, cluck, cluck. So no more claps when we cluck. Now you're gonna use your home instrument. Okay, get it ready. You have to wait for the clucks though. Okay, Mrs. Hill will help you. Here we go. Listen to the chickens go cluck, cluck, cluck. You got it. Listen to the chickens go cluck, cluck, cluck. Now we don't play. All day long they sing their song. Listen to the chickens go cluck, cluck, cluck. Did you get them all in the right place? Let's try it one more time, just so that now you know exactly where the clucks are gonna happen. Get your home instrument ready. I think I'm gonna switch instruments, actually. I think I'll take a plastic top and I'm gonna hit it with my pencil. All right, here I go. Listen to the chickens go cluck, Listen to the chickens go cluck, cluck, cluck. All day long they sing their song. Listen to the chickens go cluck, cluck, cluck. Oh, nice job, UPK friends. Good for you guys. And you know what? You can do this song over and over and over and try lots of different instruments. And the next time I see you, we'll use a different farm animal, okay? Now, we still have one more thing left to do. We have a chicken game left to do. So what you need to do is you need to put your instrument down or put it away. If you're gonna put it away, just pause this video and then come back when you are ready to try a chicken game with me. Okay, Mrs. Hill's getting set up so you can see the chicken game. Now, if your parents or any of your grown-ups are nearby, they probably know this game really, really well. It's called the chicken dance, okay? And it always uses the number four. I know in our other game we are counting to three, but this time you have to count to four, you PKers. Can you handle it? I know you can. I know you can. All right, so it starts out with four four chicken beaks and our hands make those chicken beaks so we go one two three four let's do it together here we go one two three four then you make your chicken wings flap while we count to four. One, two, three, four. let's try those two together four chicken beaks four wing flaps here we go one two three four one, two, three, four. Here comes the silly part. For the next four, you have to shake your chicken tail feathers. One, two, three, four. Let's do it together. Shake those tail feathers. One, two, three, four. And finally, we end up with four claps like this. One, two, three, four. Let's put all of that counting together. So here's what happens. It's chicken beaks then chicken wings, then chicken feathers, then four claps. Are you ready? Let's try it, here we go. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, do it again, here we go. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, tail feathers. One, two, three, and clapping. One, two, three, four. So we are so lucky that this game goes along with some music. Let me turn on my speaker so that we can hear a song called The Chicken Dance and we're gonna do this game along with the music. Okay, you ready? All right, here we go. Ready, set, go. One, two, three, four. 
chickens in the background? One, two, three, four. 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 Now take a little break and just do a little dance all by yourself. Go slowly. You don't want to get too dizzy. Let's spin the other way. Here we go. Back to our game, starting with chicken beaks. One, two, three, four. 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 And then we turn around a little dance. What? I need to wear the chicken hat. chicken hat. I'll have to back up the camera a little bit. Here we go. One, two, three, four. 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 I hope your parents are dancing along. If not, maybe they're just laughing. Do a little circle with yourself. chicken song with some homemade instruments and we did a chicken dance with Mrs. Hill wearing a chicken hat. That was pretty fun. So that's your Monday music for this week. I can't wait UPK to do some more fun stuff with you guys next week. So have a great week and I'll see you next Monday. Bye! <laughs>